It's snowing in Canberra. Ah! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new around here, I'm Ahmed. I'm Janae. And there are three people missing today. My wife Ruth, my daughter Saffron, and a son-in-law Daniel who's gone back to the UK and... Deserted. He's deserted us. Today, it's going to be haircut for the boys and um, the girls have gone to Westfield. So they're probably going to be introducing themselves around now. Hey guys, can say good morning? Good morning. <laughs> We're just at Westfield now, going to get um, some shoes for Janaid. He needs some school shoes and just have a look around, see what they got, hey? I want to get some tea bags. <laughs> tea bags, cleaning products and shoes. Those are the three things on my list. What's on your list? Anything? Vaseline. Vaseline? Vaseline. The small pot one. Alright, cool. Um, and it's actually snowing in Canberra today. I know. Skirt! You said what now? It's not going to settle and it's not massive. I'll see if I can get it on camera so you can see it. Kind of, you could call it snow. Some people call it sleet. I'm calling it snow because, you know, it sounds a lot more dramatic. It's snowing in Canberra. Ah! So, I was just um, putting on my coat because as you can see it's snowing in Canberra, hashtag clickbait, and Saffron came for me, what did you say? She looks like a, a black Michelin man, with the bumps. <laughs> How do you call your mum fat on a Saturday morning? I don't call you fat, I'm talking about the coat. <laughs> you piece of trash. <laughs> Why do you violate me? This is how I get treated out here. So yeah, apparently this black Michelin man is gonna go in <laughs> and do a bit of shopping. Me? <laughs> She's a nope, I ain't getting wet today, shorty. Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose till I hiccup. We're just about to jump in the car. The last time we spoke to the boys, um, the barber wasn't even at the barber shop. So we've probably been, we've probably been shopping for about, what, an hour and a half, you reckon? Uh, yeah. And the boys are literally still sitting at the barber shop waiting for the barber to get there. Hold on. And we've got a cat here in the car. How do we have him? <laughs> they don't come in the car. Oh, I dropped Janae to school the other day and he probably had it on his trousers or something. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so the boys are still on some long thing. That's going to be them probably for the rest of the day. I told you barber shop is not just a one and done. Barber shop is a whole day event. Um... What are we doing now, little girl? Heating up the car and going to find somewhere to drink, I think. Go get a nice little coffee. Coffee. Oh, do you want to go to Kipax then? Because then we can go coffee club and we can pop into a reject shop. What are you going to do when you get home? Uh, I'll probably check her work. Mm -hmm. See if she's responded. She probably has lots of stuff on. She's a studious child. Ish, 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 ish. I need to do some editing today. But the other part of me, I'm not going to do it, but the other part of me is like, do I just drive out to Ikea and go buy my desk? Because then I can go start setting up my office. You know what I mean? <laughs> but Ikea on a Saturday at 12 o'clock. I was hoping not to go anywhere. To <laughs> then go next week. I could just order it online, get it delivered this week. And then I'm excited to start my office, isn't it? So stay tuned for um, an office vlog. Um, we've got a little cupboard underneath the stairs that um, I'm going to turn into my office. Um, so I'm excited and Safran's going to do some of her artwork on the wall for me. Um, or at the very least do a, a canvas for me that I can pop up on the wall. So I'm excited. We're off to Mitchell to go and get some haircuts because we are looking a bit... A bit ogreish at the moment. So you will see the results afterwards when we finish. Yep. Boys. Boys. Awesome. We're now at Alexander's um, barber shop. Uh, we're about to go inside now. Now, uh, coming from the UK, it's been difficult to find a barber in the in the ACT in Canberra, which I've mentioned in previous videos as well, which will link um, up here one of the two. Um, so we usually every ten weeks we'll go to. Uh, to Brisbane and that's when we'll get our haircuts. I finally found one in Canberra and he's able to cut my hair decent um, so this is the first time that Janae's going to have his hair cut in the same um, in the, at the same place yeah um, so hopefully he does a good job with Janae's hair. The last place we took him in Canberra absolutely butchered his hair 
they just shaved everything off and didn't even think about the the style that I actually showed them on I showed them the picture I showed them the actual picture and he saw it and he nodded and then I looked up he was shaving Janae's hair off like all of it was just coming off And you know, there's nothing you can do because he started from the middle as well, and he's taken everything off from the middle, and then he started going to the side. But Janaid liked it. He liked that his hair was gone because um, he had it the, gets, the it big It gets hair. in the way of everything. Even while I eat, mm. my hair, I, I don't even touch my hair. Mm. It falls out mm. onto my food. Sometimes when I eat my food, the hair ends up going in my mouth. It does. He eats it. He eats it. I don't um, eat my hair. So we're going to go get him a haircut today and hopefully it's decent enough. Um, so I'm going to get him to go first. Then that way I can just stand there and actually just watch. Um, and then after that, I'll go um, and get my one, my haircut done as well. Lately I've been living like I can't take a loss. They want to help me, that's what made me a boss. You can't kill my confidence, I think I'm the man. Cuts on that long run, all I really want is my share. 